I got my iced chai tea latte so I don't sweat my balls off. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be filming today and I feel like I say that in every single video, but sometimes it's just like a really long time between the times that I have a chance to sit down and film. So when I do have time to do it, it makes me like really excited. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me kind of style video. And this is something that I've been wanting to do all a really long time because there's a makeup look that I kind of wear a lot these days and it's really easy, but it's not really anything special. So I didn't want to call it like a tutorial because a tutorial I feel is where like you show off your mad skills and your really cool makeup looks. And this is just like a really basic ass makeup look, but it's something that I really love wearing and it's really easy to do. So that's what I'm going to be filming here for you guys today. So as you can see, I've got no makeup on. Well, I've got a little concealer and brows on. Because I just went out for a hair consultation because I'm going to need tape-ins, tape and extensions on Tuesday. And um, color and all that stuff. So by the time you see this video, I will probably have new hair. So if you want to see my new hair, check me out on Snapchat underscore Z underscore Sprucey. At Z underscore Sprucey. Yep, I will link it below. It's all the same for all my social media. But anyways, I just went to do that so you know I have to put on a little something, something. But I'm starting off with a pretty much clean face today because I'm doing a get ready with me. So I'm going to be going to work and to get my nails done after I film this video. My nails are a hot ass mess right now. So yeah, I'm going to go do that. So I'm just going to get ready really quick and show you guys kind of this makeup routine that I've been doing. It's really nothing special. It's basically just focusing on no eyeshadow and eyelashes and usually a bold lip, but you can really do it with any lip color. I actually have no idea which lip color I'm going to end up putting on today, but um, this is also going to be a really chatty video, so if you do not like that kind of video and you don't want to hear me talk about my life, please exit out right now because um, I also want to make this video kind of like a life update sort of thing to let you guys know why I don't have that much time to film because I really do feel bad. Like I love YouTube and I feel dedicated to YouTube and I love filming, but I don't have all that much time in my life for it and I want to just kind of update you guys about what's going on and why sometimes I'm absent from YouTube for like a long ass time and it's not because I want to be and it's not because I'm too lazy to film so I'm gonna be going into all that stuff tell you guys what's going on with my life while I'm getting ready um, so because I'm gonna be talking a lot in case I forget to mention any of the products that I'm using I will link everything of course below in my description box as always um, but I'm also wanting to show you guys a few different things that I've been doing in my makeup routine which is another reason why I wanted to film this get ready with me video Anyways, this is probably already an eternity long intro and it's going to be an eternity long video. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Let's go ahead and get started on my makeup. So I need to wet my beauty blender actually first. So let me go do that. This, by the way, this is actually the L'Oreal new sponge. My best friend told me about this. She was like, yo, girl, you need to go buy this. It's bomb. She wasn't lying. This is like $5 and it's one of the best makeup sponges I've ever used. Not, still not as good as the beauty blender, but... It's bomb as fuck, so if you haven't tried this, go pick it up from Ulta. It's amazing, but I'm about to go clean this and wet it. I dropped it. I will be right back. Okay, so my beauty sponge is all wet and clean. Um, and I'm going to throw in a headband to get my hair out of the way because I don't want foundation in my edges, you know? Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my skin like I always do. And this is the Pixi Hydrating Milky Serum. And I am so obsessed with using this as a primer. I've been using this as a primer for months. I think I've only used it on camera maybe like once or twice. But I literally prime my skin with this mm, almost every day. Like 9 times out of 10. And I really feel like it keeps my makeup on longer. Like when I wear this... My makeup looks so good throughout the day. It lasts longer. It goes on better. It's just, it's really bomb. Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows. And this I've only done on camera also once, my brows first. But this I've been doing for months also. I don't know, I just really like it because I like to now underline them with concealer. Which is kind of hard to do once you already have your eyeshadow on your face and everything. So I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I'm using the shade Medium. Probably going to need a lighter shade once I get my hair done on Tuesday, but this is what I use for now. And I'm using the Real Techniques. <coughs> Jesus. The Real Techniques 202 Bold Metals Brush. Let's get a little closer. Let's zoom you in. Boom. Hit it with the zoom. Wow. Really, really up close and personal. So, as you guys can obviously see, I'm filming in a different setup right now. And that is because I actually just moved. God, my brows are a mess. I need to tweeze them. 
don't come for me in the comments section. I know my brows look a mess. Anyways, so I just moved. Um, I'm in a new apartment now, and this is my first apartment, and I'm living on my own, which is really exciting, and I love it so far. Everyone told me that I was going to be, like, so lonely and bored, like, living by myself. They were wrong. But the reason I moved, I didn't move far. I moved about half an hour away from where I was living before, but I moved to be closer to the school that I'm going to so I didn't have to commute. So before I was going to a community college and now I'm going to a real college and I commute to campus from my apartment but it's like 10 minutes away so it's really close whereas before it would be like a 45-ish maybe longer drive in traffic in the morning so. Okay so now I have like the brows on and now I like to underline them in concealer and so I'm going to use my tar sharp heart shape tape concealer and this is in the shade fair I like to use a shade that's much lighter than my skin tone because it gives like my brows a lift and I just like to start right here on the arch boom go right on the brow and the front carve out the brow so one of the things that I love about having my own apartment is decorating like I'm super duper into interior decorating actually at one point in my life I wanted to be an interior designer fun fact and I've had so much fun decorating my apartment. I've showed it um, on Snapchat quite a few times. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you've already seen it. Um, but let me know if you guys want like a dedicated apartment tour video because I could totally do that. Okay, then I'm just taking this concealer buffer brush 142 from Zoeva and just kind of blending out that concealer and a little bit onto my lids. Boom, there we go. So that's the brows. Donezo. Okay, so I always use two primers like in my normal foundation routine. I always use like a hydrating primer or some kind of illuminating primer, like a base primer. And then I always go in with a smoothing primer because I've got like major pores. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I would get up and close and show y'all, but I don't want to. So I like to use a smoothing primer in my T-zone and also my forehead because I've got more texture here too. I switch out these a lot, but today I'm going to use the Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer in the little pot talked about this in my all about primers video so if you're not hip go watch that okay for foundation i'm using my absolute fave in this routine i kind of like use like all of my favorite products so if i say that a lot like this is my favorite that's because i'm using like all my favorite products in this kind of go-to routine um and this is the infallible pro glow foundation Die Hard fan, never used a foundation that's better. Honestly, I've been using a lot of different foundations lately just because I can't use this foundation when I'm self tan because the, the lighter shades are too pink for me and I've got like a strong yellow undertone in my skin. So I haven't used this a lot lately and I noticed that all the other ones that I've been using that are lighter, just they just don't work as well for me. Like halfway through the day, I feel like my makeup looks like shit. But with this stuff, it looks good all day. But I did self tan last night because later this week, hopefully on ugh, drop my blender again, damn it. Anyways, hopefully on Sunday I'm gonna be filming a little bathing suit bikini haul try on review video for you guys. So you know I wasn't about to be looking pasty as fuck doing a bikini try on. Hello lighting. So one of my favorite things right now about school. I used to hate school, you guys, honestly. Like, last semester, it was awful for me. Like, I'm not a type of person that loves going to school, but since I've started at this new college, I really actually enjoy it. Like, I can't even believe that I'm saying that, but I love it. Um, I'm studying music right now, and a thing I love about being a music major is that everybody else that's a music major, like, everyone does it for the love. Like, everyone's so passionate about it. No one's a music major because they want to make a lot of money, because you don't typically associate, you know, like music jobs with a lot of money. And that's just something that I love about it is that I feel like everyone's so genuine and everyone just like truly loves what they're doing in this field and in this, you know, program of study. And being surrounded by people who love what they're doing is really, really inspiring to me and makes me happy. And I'm learning so much. I really am. And for those of you who don't know, like my regular day job is a violin teacher. So I'm really learning a lot about how to be a better teacher, which is the real reason why I want to study music. And it's a lot more work though. So that's part of the reason why I haven't had a lot of time to film is because I got a lot of fucking homework, a lot of it. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do some color correcting, and this is something that I always do. I've got horrible dark circles. It's hereditary. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, so color correcting is something that I always do, and I often, like, I'm trying new things with color correcting all the time. So I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing it lately. I also have a video on color correcting, by the way, in case you want to know more about it, but... Okay, so this is a product that I've used tons, obviously. It was like this long before. It was supposed to be like a pencil, and now it's like this short. This is a Smashbox Color Correcting Stick in Look Less Tired Light. I switch back and forth between the light and the dark one because I can never decide like which one works better on me. But this is the one that I've been using recently. So I just like put this right under my eyes where I have the most darkness. Okay, so now I'm going to actually conceal under my eyes, and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape again. Is that the delivery for me? I think it is. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium, and I'm almost out of this. And I actually ordered another one, like a couple months ago, but I actually accidentally ordered Light Medium Honey, which is like, or Light Medium Sand, I can't remember. One of, you know, Light Medium Honey, which is really super duper pink. Okay, so I just put some under my eyes, a fuck ton, obviously. And I'm gonna blend that out again with the L'Oreal sponge. Is that my order? I'm sitting in front of a window. And then I always blend it up onto my eyelids to usually prime for eyeshadow, but also to help conceal my eyelids. And then to highlight the other areas of my face, I'm going to blend the excess product from that um, eye to my nose and chin. And the excess product from the other eye to my forehead to balance out that under eye highlight, but not add any additional product there so I don't get too cakey looking. Okay, so now what I do is I take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium, which is a little bit darker, and it's got like a little bit more peachy undertones, so this is gonna help further color correct. I know it seems extra, but like I said, I truly need it. And I just put like a dot right underneath my eyes where I have the most darkness. Because if you use a concealer that's like too much lighter than your skin tone, it can actually make the dark circles look worse. So by adding one that's a little bit darker directly under the eyes, it's going to help better cover up the darkness. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then you still have like that highlighted under eye area, but just like right there, it brightens it up. Alright, now I'm just going to set that and I'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. I have it in a little one of these things because it's just easier to work with. And as I always do, I'm going to set that with my e.l.f. small tapered brush. I literally won't use anything else to set my under eyes. It's not the softest brush on the planet, but like just the shape of it does such a good job. Ugh, I keep picking up this damn mirror. I need to... Oh, shoot. And then I like to use quite a lot of powder because I don't want to be creasing. And I set my eyelids too because I also don't want those to crease. And I really press it into my skin. So I don't disturb the concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my face. And this is another technique that I've been doing a lot lately is highlighting right after I do my concealer and set it because I still want my foundation and base to be kind of tacky when I apply my highlighter because that is a trick to make your highlight pop. And I'm going to use the Jouer Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Citrine. My best friend gave this to me for my birthday and it is such a bomb highlighter. You ready for this, guys? <gasps> Can you even breathe right now? Oh, hello. Highlight. How are you? Damn. Damn. Wait till you see the other side, okay? Because this is my good side, so. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you don't want to leave it as a stripe like that. So you're going to blend it out. Do some little circuit. Oh, my. Let's hit the nose. I don't even need to pick up more product. I can just use what's left. Oh my god! Okay, that... Don't get crazy. We don't want a mustache out here. And then I take like the excess product. I don't like to pick up more for this because I just like a little glow on my chin. And a little on the forehead. So if you watch my videos, you know that I always set my under eyes also with a yellow powder to help brighten it up even more. And lately I've been really obsessed with the one in the NYX contour palette. As you can tell, it's like practically gone. And I've literally been saving the last little bit that I have left of it for this video so I could show you guys and use it. But I just feel like it's so much more pigmented than a lot of the other yellow banana shade powders that I use. 
which is why I like this one so much. It's also a really nice formula. But I just like to put that right under the eye and like bring it up this way to give that a little lift and brightness. See the difference? Mm -hmm. I know you see it. All right, so now I'm gonna finish doing whatever I'm gonna do to the eyes because I don't like to put like bronzer and contour and all that on my skin yet because I like my foundation to be a little bit more dry first because it makes it easier to blend. First, let's zoom in again. I'm gonna use the NYX eyeshadow in the shade Kiss the Day. And this is what I always just use as my base eyeshadow, but today I'm just gonna put this all over the lid just to give my eye a bright eye effect. I know I called this like a no eyeshadow look. Technically, it's not, because I'm just using this eyeshadow, but you don't really need to do this step. It just kind of makes my lid area look all one color and nice and bright. So another thing you guys may have noticed about me that's different in this video is, well, I already, already called myself out for it, but my nails are hideous, and I don't have acrylics right now. Part of being uh, studying music is I actually have to play a lot more now. So I played violin for, I wanna say like 12 years. And for the last like five years, I haven't really been involved with it much. I've just been teaching, but not really playing on my own a whole lot. Um, so that's why I could have like long fake nails. It was okay for just like demonstrating things for teaching purposes, but when I have to actually like play and perform, it doesn't work. So when this past semester started, I cut all my nails off and had to get gels and I've been really bad at keeping up with them. I haven't had my nails done in three weeks, which is really abnormal for me. And they've been looking a hot mess. It makes me feel like a little boy, but that's okay. It's a good sacrifice because I love playing and I love violin and I forgot kind of how much I love it and how much I enjoy doing it. And it's so nice to get back into it and that this is the sacrifice that I have to make. And I'm okay with that. So back to makeup. I'm gonna put on my falsies and I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes, style number seven, my obsession. These are literally everything, especially with this look with wearing no eyeshadow and just lashes. They open up your eyes and make your eyes look so big and doll-like. So while I let this lash dry, I'm just gonna put on my bottom lash mascara because I always get carried away and wanna put my lash on before the glue gets tacky and it ends up getting fucked up. Um, and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, always for the bottom lashes. There's nothing that beats it. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Get it if you don't have it. I mean, look at those bottom lashes. Can we just talk about that for a second? I feel like this video is all over the place. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to sit down, do my makeup, chat with you guys. I still need to figure out this whole filming setup too. Like filming sitting at my vanity right now is really difficult. Still waiting for the glue to dry. Um, because I have like my vanity lights on for additional lighting and I'm sitting in front of a window which is also really nice for the lighting. And then I wanted to also use my ring light but I can't stand it up or else it's too tall so I literally just like sat it on my desk so it's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to see when I film on Sunday what kind of the best thing to do is with my setup but this is working actually so far and I like it because I have all my makeup right in front of me right here. But I really think it would be cute to like have my vanity behind me in future videos. We'll see. You guys will see. We'll see. We'll figure it out together. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Lash is basically on. I'm gonna have to cover up the lash band once it dries. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Okay, so that's one lash. I gotta pee and I'm gonna put on the other one so I'll be right back. My tea is getting to me. Glam. Scam. What does that even mean? It doesn't even make any sense. Okay, it's time to put the other eyelash on. Here we go, coming in. Boom. Okay, so now that my face has had some time to dry, I'm going to finish up the rest of it with the contour and the bronzer and all of that. So, for bronzer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 240. And if you don't know, now you know. This is my favorite bronzer ever. It's got the perfect undertone for me, personally. Um, if you're a little bit more on the fair side or a little bit cooler, actually, if you're fair, this will work well, but if you're kind of cool tone skin, this might not work, it might be too too bronzy and too yellow for you, but if your skin pulls more golden and it's kind of like a light, fair to medium skin tone, this will work perfect for you. 
I was gonna tell you guys something else. Oh yeah. So I wanted to talk to you guys about like why I've been so like absent on and off from YouTube. It's because like I'm in school right now, I'm in college, and that's a big commitment. It takes a lot of my time. And then I also work part-time, so it's really hard for me to find time to film. And I literally film that any time I get the chance, any time I'm not doing anything else with my life, I'm filming or editing. And I don't think that people realize how much work really goes into one video and how many actual hours it takes to film and how many hours it takes to edit. And then especially... Recently, I was finishing up my semester and I had midterms, so I had a lot more homework than usual and then I had to pick out a place to live this semester, and then I had to move and I had to pack and life just got so crazy for me and I always feel so bad when that happens because then I feel like I don't have a video up for you guys for such a long time, but I promise you guys that I'm committed and dedicated to YouTube and that whenever I have a chance, I film. But please just bear with me because if, if I don't have time, it's because life is crazy for me. So please try and understand that. And please don't unsubscribe because I take too long to post a video. Because I promise, doing the best I can. Um, so I just finished bronzing. I used the Maybelline 240 powder. And then I also used Tula, which is a little bit darker and more neutral. Just to deepen up the bronze a little bit. And now I'm contouring with my Kat Von D contour kit. And I did actually get a new one. Ta -da! But I'm using my old one right now because I still have like some of this shade left which I'm using to contour so I don't want to like bust out the new one quite yet until it's like beyond repair. Okay I'm going to sharpen up that contour a little bit with this Zoeva brush face paint brush. Yeah it's a 109 Luxe face paint brush. Make a prissy face. See those cheekbones? Boom. Carve them out. Cut. Now let's hit it with some blush, and I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'm looking through my drawers over here. I think I'm going to use my Clinique blush in the shade Smoldering Plum. This is one of my favorites, and I'm just going to take this on my e.l.f. I think it's called the blush brush. I don't know. They don't have labels on the, the e.l.f. brushes anymore. They took them off. It's like they have it on the packaging when you buy it, but they don't have it on the actual brush anymore, and it's so irritating because then I forget what they're called. Okay, so the last real step to do for this little get ready with me is pick out a lip color. So I don't know. I love the way this makeup look look looks with a bold lip because then it makes it look like you're like really wearing a dramatic makeup look. But sometimes if you just wear like a neutral lip, it gives you like a really pretty kind of neutrally vibe. I don't know. I wore a coral lip yesterday, so I'm not going to do anything like that. Let's look through my lip products here. Let's ask Erica. Let's try and call her. Let's see if she's still in class. FaceTime. Oh, she didn't answer. She's still in class. She says she doesn't know. Thanks for the help. Oh, she says she doesn't know what I look like. Okay. I'm filming the look with no eyeshadow and only lashes. Okay, so while I wait for somebody to respond to me and tell me what lip color to do, I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray. And I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Just give yourself a little bath. <gasps> She's calling. Hi. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was Want to say hi to the camera? You're not going to put me in the bed. Oh, I won't? Oh, okay. Well, I look good today. I can't really see you because the lights are so bright and it reflects on the screen. Hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is the provider of the highlight right here. I was talking about you in the video. I was like, yeah, she hooked me up oh. with this highlight. Help me out. What, what uh, lip color do I wear? I'm feeling bold. All right, what kind of bold? Like a like a dark, or like a berry, or like a like what? Purpley color. Like this. Yeah. Okay, good. This is I wore I this I wore this lip color before with this makeup look, and I really liked it. So that's what I'm I gonna love do. it. Okay, she's on board. Okay, so the tribe has spoken. I'm gonna put on this kind of purpley lip. I think she made a good choice. Isn't that right? Oh yeah. I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Liner in the shade. I think this is the same one I used in my last video. Yeah, it's Club Hopper. Suck my ass, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd she say that? I'm not really a fan of this lip liner formula, to be honest, but it's okay. 
Oh, I forgot to mention, the lip color that I'm now putting on is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. It's like a stick. And this is in the shade Shameless. For all you Shameless fans out there. Oh, I think that was Owen. Who's Owen? From Rowing. Shout out to he, Owen. He was actually attractive. Oh, shout out to Owen. Now. Okay, Owen. Alright, gotta go. Me? Yeah. Are you talking to me? Yeah. What? I gotta do, like, conclusion and all that. Uh, fine, goodbye. Bye. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna take out this headband and then <laughs> redo this hair real quick and then we will chat before I go. Where's my other bobby pin? I think I already took it out. All right, be right back. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it. This is the final look. I contemplated doing my hair, but I don't think I'm gonna because this is a get ready with me. And if I was actually getting ready right now, which I am, I wasn't gonna do my hair anyways. So, I'm not gonna do my hair. Um, but speaking of that, I've actually been getting a lot of requests recently on my videos to do a hair tutorial. Like how I style my hair, my short hair. Um, to be honest with you guys, I am not going to do that right now because I've got a lot of breakage in the front so it looks kind of fucked up and what you saw in my videos a few months ago is not really how my hair is looking right now. So maybe um, once I get my tape-ins, I think I can, I will then do a video about how I style my hair because I'll be feeling a little bit better about it and being a little bit fuller and just looking better because I still style it the same way and I probably still will style it the same way and if I don't, then I will do a video still showing you guys how I did style it then. So I will do that. I know I've had a lot of you ask me that and I told people that I will and I will do it you guys but you just gotta give me some time to get my hair looking right because I'm not feeling good about the way it's looking right now so I don't really want to show it, show me doing it on camera. Um, so yeah, that's just what's going on with that just to keep it really real. But that is pretty much it for this makeup look. As I told you guys, it is really, really quick and easy. Normally to do like a regular full face of makeup, it takes me about an hour. To do like an extravagant look, it can take me like an hour and a half. But to do this, I can get this done in about half an hour. And it still looks super glam. Like if I had my hair done and I was not wearing like a little sweater, I would look glam right now. But it's actually just really casual and really easy. So if you recreate this makeup look, please show it to me, tag me in it on Twitter or on Instagram, let me know. I would love to see your guys' recreations of like the big lash, no eyeshadow, and bold lip look. So any variation of it, of it I would love to see your guys' recreations. So please tag me. And don't forget to follow me on my other social medias. That is all Z underscore Sprucey, which I will leave linked below for you guys as always, as well as I said before, all the products that I used in today's video. I think I was pretty good about telling you guys everything that I use even though I was kind of chatting along the way so yeah make sure you check out my description box before you leave and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what's going on with you guys let me know if you liked this video let me know if you like this chatty style let me know if you just want me to shut up and do makeup I don't know <laughs> however you guys feel let me know because I really do want to create content for you guys so please let me know how you feel about it I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to be filming hopefully this Sunday my little try on. I got a bunch of new bathing suits that I'm going to show you guys. And hopefully I will ha start to have some videos up for you guys sooner rather than later. I am doing my best and I can promise you guys that. Trust me and believe me when I say that. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Thank you guys for sticking with my channel even when I can be a little bit inconsistent sometimes. And a big thank you to each and every one of you guys because I hit 3,000 subscribers here on my channel and I'm so excited about it. So thank you so much to each and every 3,000 one of you guys for supporting me, for watching my videos, for liking my videos, for liking my pictures. Thank you guys honestly so much for valuing my opinion and for valuing what I have to say about makeup. I know there's a million of us makeup YouTubers out there so thank you guys so much for seeing something in me and subscribing to my channel and for loving me. And thank you guys, as always, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Ah. <laughs> ah. oh. oh my god. I have to learn to let these people go, and all you need to know in order for your seed to grow. This is too deep for me right now. I'm just trying to put on makeup. Oh, no. I didn't. Oh.
walls are thin, so we remember that. 